So hi guys. Before kami magkita ni Leo, mag-workout kami today. So before kami mag-workout, mag-warm up muna ako ngayon. Para mamaya medyo prepared ako sa workout. Baka intense eh. Tapos feeling ko si Vern kasing na rin yun kasi may Suns game today. Alam mo naman yung diehard Suns fan. So yun lang guys, um, workout lang ako in a bit. And then manonood rin ako ng Suns game while working out. So in between sets. So Suns game, let's go Clippers. Ito na natin si Vern. Ayan natin yung reactions niya. Tambak yung ano eh, Clippers. So malamang happy yun. Happy ba? Happy? Na hindi pa tapos sila. Wala rin sumunta sila lili. On the way na raw. Hindi na pa na na na. Second quarter. Grabe si Aiton. Yeah! Yes, what's up? We're in the house. Come brothers. What's up? We're looking forward for this collaboration. Yes, sir. Masipag tayo mag-workout, pero priority yung NBA. Let's get inspired first. Yeah. We're gonna train hard today. Just bro. Hey, what's up? What up, what up? Check one as a boomtop. Okay, what up, Nice, bro. Super nice. Wait, Hi, I'm Coach Junior of Philamu Lead Basketball. We're here today to train Van Allen Ong. I'm also here today with my assistant, Coach Leo Devera. Uh, we're here to teach some techniques that Van can do to improve his game. And yeah, so let's get it. Hello, I'm Leo Devera, assistant coach for Phil Am Elite Basketball, co-founder and ex-professional basketball player model. We are training here today at the Ong Brothers Court and we're gonna coach Van today. We're actually based in Lipa, Batangas and then we're actually in town in Manila. And so it's good to collaborate with uh, the Ong Brothers, like Van Allen, a good friend of mine. And our purpose is to just keep helping people and training them the basics and the more advanced movements to get to eliteness. Leo De Vera. So if you take away the mindset, lahat ka tayo tulong tulong mo na. Create. Mula mo ng selfishness. Para gumaling ka, para gumaling din to. You know, unang mindset. That's the team. Yeah. In real life, whatever situation you're in, I know Filipinos kind of play it up. They're gonna try to win. That's our characteristics as Filipinos. So. Oh, yun yung advantage talaga yun. So the thing is, you just have to change the mindset and the techniques, like modern techniques of how the game's played now in the NBA. Then you apply that because if you look at it internationally, the Olympics, the number one team is always the U.S. Yeah. So like you have to do your homework to understand how the U.S. plays. So if you understand how they play and apply it to your guys' team, what makes you think you guys can't stand out? Mm -hmm. Basketball is the same all around the world. Even me, my honest opinion, I went back home, I played ball, I come back here, I play ball. It's the same thing. It's just different types of training, yeah. different types of culture. Yeah. Pero wala pa kayong program na kagaya nito. Ito pa lang yung first sa so nakikita niyo. Based on my experience, I really can tell if this program is the same, this program is the same. Kayo kasi nasa basketball field kayo, so yeah. iba unique ba yung way niyo talaga? It's um, more science. Science, science. Based. come on. There's athleticism, there's people who are really just gifted already with the mobility, speed, power, strength, everything, right? The science behind it is how did they get there? It's the movements that you have to put in to work in order to get that certain angle and that crossover that you want to do. So what we teach is the breakdown before you even do the move. Yeah. How do you get the mobility to without do the, the ball move? Moon, uh, without the ball. Yeah. Uh, I never got uh, this good at ball handling until yeah. we started learning this. For real? Yeah, my ball handling is ten times better now <laughs> than it was before I even. You, you think I can improve mine? You can. It's just adapting your body. We're grown scientifically. So when you keep training movements, your body will adapt to it. We're doing these movements. There's a reason why we're doing the movements and it'll apply to the sport. But, uh, say why Jordan's so good uh -huh. and why he changed the game. Because uh -huh. when you look at the 80s, the 90s, the movements he had was far different from the, from the movements sorry. from the 80s and 90s. You know, people were just dribbling regularly like this. <laughs> now everyone's like this. Staying low. Staying low, and he created that legendary crossover. But the reason why he had it was he had the mobility and the mm. movements to do it already. He was that effective with the athleticism and the power he built. He said he didn't start working out until he got beat up by Detroit. Detroit beat him up. So the reason that's when why he started working out. Started working out, but he already had the mobility, the movements in his body. But he put strength in it, so now he just became unstoppable. And the mindset was already the there. Mindset was already Way there, before Detroit. He just adapted everything. He just adapted that. So I did. So I did. Now we can teach you the movement. We had athleticism there. Now we just have to teach you 
mobility. I'm quite excited. Three aspects that make a great player. Number one is your IQ. So knowing how to play the game, watching the game. Number two would be your athleticism. So like your weightlifting, the mobility, and the third is your skill set. So if you have all three, you're complete, right? IQ, right. athleticism, and skill set. There are some players in the NBA. May like, kulang, uh, may kulang. Right, like Jamel uh, McGee. Super oh, yeah. athletic, skill set, skill set. Like average. There's guys like John Morant, athleticism high, skill set high, and also IQ. IQ high. So oh, he got it all three here. Yeah. Right? You put all three together, you make a complete player. All right, all right. We have a mobility training, or I'm learning a lot. Yeah, like even me, so, I trained my mobility, man. I stopped hmm. lifting because my shoulder, I messed it up for two months. So all I did was mobility training, and I was able to grab the rim again. Congrats, right? bro! Yeah, but you used to train mobility, talaga. Never. Way before. I never. never. How'd you like thought like of it? James Harden's trainer, mm. and I read and I watched all of his videos, and I applied it to myself. Shit, you just when studied. I applied it to myself. Mm. I was like, hey, well, if it works on me, I'm pretty sure it works on everybody else. Put a belt on. I, I've only training. been using the Jazzy Waist Trainer belts. Because it was on the other side. Solid to ah. This is prevention. ACL is landing. All right. Everything landing or specific movements. But if you train your knees or your, your legs to... To land properly. Big, it's going to strengthen everything here, okay? It's called shin down. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay, okay. What we're doing is we're deloading this knee. We're loading this knee straight. One, two, three, four, five. And look at when you do your crossover. Imagine this is your defender, and you're gonna cross. You see how my shin angles are going like this, and then when you cross over, you cross, and then. You oh, you yeah, angle your shin on the side. The concept to that. Go. One. One. Two. It's great, it's and great. Then, when you apply this in the game, if you can be comfortable low, imagine how hard is it going to be to guard you exactly. slow. The goal is, you can do this almost every day or every other day. The goal is to, when you start getting this, go at your own speed, but if you feel like you can go faster, go Must up. Okay, uh, it's okay. So just start slow, then get it going a little bit, then you feel, oh dang, I can get faster and faster when you do it. So, I don't need to get fast this instant, man. Just no, to apply no, Munei mobility. Always, yeah. Spread it a bit. There you go. Yeah, just like that. Ah, damn, that's hard. That's hard. Okay. Oh, woo, woo. Boom. Let's pull out. Oops. Like, you'll never know if you're gonna go. So if you beat him on the step and you go straight, how hard is that for me to lateral again? But you're gonna blow exactly, right exactly. I would have to go like this. The goal is the basket. Straight, what's the, what's the fastest way to the basket? Straight, straight line. Straight line. Right? The goal wow. is to never go below the like Yes. Boom. Uh -huh. Now, uh, okay. here. 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 Good. Here you go. <laughs> okay. One. One. Two. Two. Kaka solid training program, I promise. Yep. Sobra. Your, it's good. At least you got the basics. And since you have the basics, all you have to do is work on it. Is work on it and get quicker. Good. good. Oops. Right, ah, there's there's more, there's more. Your crossover looks good. There's more. Hope, hope so, I hope so. so I hope same so. footwork, but now same watch footwork. this. Watch this next one. Now it's called the under drag. Now it's not a crossover snatch. It's under the leg. Mm. And then I'll switch you. Alright, look. That's the move, right? Here you go. Boom. 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 Ooh, damn. Uh, the hardest people to guard are the quickest ones, but they know how to control their speed. When to accelerate and when to not. Hardest is when you're just here, then, then all of a sudden that's how you get shifted. That's how he gets speed. He gets <laughs> all the time. Putting your car into first gear and now how to down gear it. 
so you can go all the way for the gear. The easiest people to guard is <laughs> one speed all the way, right? Yeah, that's what I've been doing. <laughs> there you go, yes sir. That's the Hezzy. Cross, boom, boom, up, there you go. You can do that, that's fine, whatever you're comfortable with. Since you have the, the copy of how to do the move, and knowing how to do it, now it's up to you as a player to be creative. Because right? mm -hmm. everybody has their own taste, like you know, this book has its own like, signature KD. Now we're applying the fundamentals which you learned right now and how you're going to play the game. You're the one handling the rock, right? Mm -hmm. How creative I can yeah. be. Exactly. <laughs> it looked like he's more comfortable behind the back. You can see behind the back, right? Please. So if, if that's your favorite move, muscle memory, develop that mm -hmm. move. And then perfect it, and then that's going to be your go-to all the time when you play. And then the next step, when we see you again, once you go to your go-to, then we're going to teach you your counter. So there's boom, counter, counter. counter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's gradual, I see. Mm -hmm. So next move, next move. Let's advance it. Let's get into until we get to elite. See? Mm -hmm. All progression. Everything's progression. We're not going to burn you out and do go, 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 go. No, 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 no. Yeah, 100 times right away. Yeah, so look gonna. Then you have like this nasty taste, like oh no, but this one you're gonna want to know because it's science. Everyone knows how to ball, dribble a ball, but getting to the proper space, the mobility, how to use it, the counters, and then, then how to make it more efficient to get buckets. Okay. Right, now play with it, whatever you want to do. Ooh. Yes, sir. Two, ready? Boom. Pull up. <laughs> Whoa, damn, you had me already. Boom. I can tell you how Coach Lewis said, oh, you got him already. Even me, I saw that you had him already. Mm -hmm. Even though he was just like 50 50 shadowing, you had him already. But you're taking it easy, huh? Yeah, I had, you know, but I came back and you beat me. I didn't know. Uh, I didn't. Go yeah, you're going to go back. Right. So leave me in a drive. Oh. Now just read me now, okay? Oh, dang. Oh, dang. <laughs> That's the read. Now I don't even know where you're gonna go sometimes, to be honest with you. Even though I'm gonna uh, anticipate it, now I don't know if you're gonna go left right. or you're gonna go right. You're bringing it back and then you're deceiving it. Then, you know, you, I don't know when you're gonna pull back or not, or you're gonna go right by me, exactly. Here we go, let's finish it. Boom. Ooh. There it is, yes sir. Sorry, That's okay. Hey, I don't want you guys to get injured. Get your footwork there. Once you see the opening, then there's other things to add to that. We can even teach you how to jail dribble. Once the Iwan mana, Niwan kita, sige. Habol. Up, 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 up. Man, that's the crisp ball. That's the jail dribble. Damn, this is dope. That's there's it. There's so many things you can learn, so all the small details. So now you have the skills, now it's like knowing when to use it. That's the IQ. Yeah. Right? Because you already have it in your bag. Now it's Physical. when am I going to use it and how am I going to apply it to the game? That's mm -hmm. the IQ part about the game, like lo knowing when to do it and when not to do it. Yeah. The skill you have, I know you have the skill, you have the athleticism, and you pick up quick, we give you the drill, like, oh, that's what it's used for, that's your IQ. Right? So you get it. I just don't know how to like work on it, yeah. like how to properly yeah, improve right? my dribble, mm -hmm. my yeah. basics. Yeah. Like, now so you yeah. have the techniques. Because we do, we, we play all the time. <laughs> we know you can move. How are you going to move? How the efficient movements mm -hmm. to get you to score? You're not just gonna move just to move, you're gonna move with a purpose. Yeah. So you're going somewhere. It's not just your dribbling stationary. Now you know how to use your dribble with movements and how to get to a position, how to get back, and then, oh, okay, that's when you need to use it. I need to go forward, accelerate, boom, boom. Yeah. Now you know how to just read your defender. Right, it's just you finding your open spot and you're comfortable to shoot and you can shoot. If you're not, then set it up again. You're gonna find an opening because the defender can never read you. You know what you're gonna do, the defender will not know what you're gonna do, right? If you're, if you're left and right. But if you're Flashy. predictable, then, then they'll get you, right? But wow. you can obviously see you can go left and right, so yep. there's no reason why they can stop you. Thanks, thanks. Yeah, you got it, man. Can I give a shout out to Phil and yeah. back? Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah, sir. I appreciate the training and I hope they will continue to train, right? Yeah, <laughs> yes, if we're in town, we're in town in Manila. You're vlog because you're training with your friends. It's not like really like yeah, you know, like play together. We're brothers here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Since 2017, bro. Yeah. Thanks, 16, thanks, Phil and Malik basketball. You're thank you, Ong brothers. Congrats, congrats. Yeah, they thank you, bad brother. It's February. Yeah, February. Yeah, February. You guys will learn. You guys will learn the elite training. Thanks, guys. I'll see you soon.